Jane Hoover. My name is Sophia. We are from Miss Ward's class. Hoover Elementary students getting ready for the Smarter Balance test. And uh, later we will talk about some test talking strategies that are useful for all students. For now, here are our headlines for this week. My name is Sadie. Hoover Springs Scholastic Book Fair will start on April, on Monday, April 16 until Friday. April 20 comes to the library and get popular books, posters, bookmarks, and more. A, a great price. Book fair hours are from 7.30 to 8 a.m. and from 2.30 to 3 p.m. As you are informed, you become a knowledgeable member of Democratic Socially. So do you share to do you share to make your school and community a better place? Cooperate with everyone and everything. Get involved in community events. Stay informed and vote. Be a good neighbor. Obey laws and rules. Respect authority volunteer. And most projects that env in the environment because we need our environments to continue assistance us now in the future. My name is Jose. Peace Open out. Open House Night will be on from 5.30 until 7 p.m. Students, it's your time to show off your special projects and other things we have been working on all year. See you there. On Friday, April 20, we will have a modified day schedule. The grade 1 through 3rd grade will be dismissed at 1.01 p.m. Grade 4 through 5th will go home at 1.24 p.m. And late bird kinders will be at 1.30 p.m. A modified day remind reminder will be sent home. We have less than two months to work on our GG Map program. Our class overall is hovering at 56%. Here is Angel to give us more estimate details. details. <laughs> Good morning, GG believers. My name is Angel. Here are your GG updates for this month. Hoover Elementary ST Math student progress is slowly moving like a turtle or a sloth. We are only at 56%. We are way behind our GG goal of 75%. 49 out of 404 students have co now completed their GG program. Miss Center's kinder class is now on the lead with 70%. Miss Yove's class is trailing close with 68%. Followed by Miss Stewart's with 66%. We are a little over a, a month of GG left for the school. So good luck and work harder to reach our goal. Bye guys. <gasps> now time for this month in history. Good morning, Hoover. This is your month in history. My name is Karen. On April 11th, 1968, a week after the assassination of Martin Luther King, the Civil Rights Act of 1968 was signed into law by President Landon B. Johnson. The law prohibited discri discrimination in housing prote protected civil rights workers and expanded the right of Native Americans. On April 13, 1743, Thomas Jefferson was born in Virginia. He was an author, inventor, lar, politician, architect, and one, one of the finest minds on the 1700s. He authored the American Declaration of Independence and later served as the third U.S. president from 1801 to 1809. He died on July 4th, 1826, the same day as his old friend and one-time pol political rival John Adams. On April 15, 1912, in the icy waters off Newfoundland, the luxury liner Titanic with 2,224 persons on board sank at 2.27 a.m. after striking an iceberg just before midnight. Goodbye for now. My balance testing is just around the corner. We sent Kristen and Karen out to find out if we were students are ready for testing. Watch this. Good morning, bestie. Good morning, best friend. Have you heard we'll be taking the Smarter Balance test in a few days? Yes. 
So what do you guys do in your class to get ready for the test? What we do to get ready in the class is we practice in our Chromebooks um, so we could get better at it. Okay, good luck on your test. So what do you guys do in your class to get ready for the test? Um, we practice uh, for to, um, to get smarter in our test. Okay, good luck on your test. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Have you heard you'll be taking the Smarter Balance test in a few days? Yes. So what do you guys do in class to get ready for the test? We think of strategies and plans to practice the aspect. Okay, good luck on your test. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Have you heard we'll be taking the Smarter Balance test in a few days? Yes. So what what do you guys do do in class to get ready for the test? We practice um, the aspect test. Good luck on the on your test. Good so. morning, Miss Ward. Good morning, Karen. In a few days, we will be taking the Smarter Balance test for fifth grade. Do you think your students are ready to tackle the state test? Oh, I hope so. We've been working hard all year. How do how do we as a class get ready for the test? Well, we're really working to take practice tests so we get used to how it's going to look when the test comes in about a week and a half. What advice do you give your do you give your students to get ready for the test? Well, one thing is they better all be having a good, healthy breakfast before the test every single day. No hot Cheetos, no Takis for breakfast on testing days or ever. Also, you want to make sure that you get a good night's rest. Oh, I'm not supposed to be sleeping during class, am I? Also, here's a little trick for my ladies. This hair right here, it can get in your way sometimes when you're testing. So one good idea is to pull it back. That way, you don't have any distractions. What can students do if they do not understand a question? Well, teachers aren't really allowed to help you too much once you're taking the test. So if you don't understand the question, sometimes there are things that are built in that you can use to help you try and figure it out. Think about all the things that we've been working on in class all year long, and maybe something will come to you that'll help you be able to answer it. Also, always remember to narrow out the answers, so get rid of the ones that you know can't possibly be right, and just narrow it down to the ones that might work. Pick the best one out of those. Thank you, Miss Ward. Thank you. Let us now turn to Lydia for some testing taking strategies that we can use during the smarter balance testing. Good morning, Hoover. Our school year is almost over. This means that in the next few weeks, our brains are going to be grilled during testing period. So here we have a few power strategies that all of us can use during the test. Number one, take a brain break. For a few seconds, look away from your monitor. Close your eyes, massage your temples, Take quiet breaths, rotate your neck in circles, and stretch your shoulders. Number two, pretend that you like the topic, even if you don't. Tell yourself, I have always wanted to read about this topic. Give the test your undivided attention until the end. Remember, these tests do not take forever, so give it all you've got, and it will be over with soon. Number three, analyze the question. This means try to figure out the object of each question. Some questions may be easy, but others are tricky. Look for keywords and sequence of events. Use your highlighter to help you remember where, they, where the keywords are. Use your dictionary to find about the meaning of words you may not understand. Some math questions may let you use a ruler and calculator. Use those. Remember to use everything to your advantage. Like marathon runners who use their stamina to run for miles and miles. Test takers have their stamina because they stay focused and give level four 
effort on every question until the end of the test. So good luck to all of us and give it all we've got. For our quote for the week. Oh, I just wanted to get out. Good morning, Hoover. Our quote of the week is about nature. Look deep into nature and you will understand everything better. The, this quote is from Dr. Albert Einstein. My name is Saul. Have a great week, everybody. This has been our presentation for this week. On behalf of Ms. Board's class, my name is Sophia. And my name is Sadie. And See you next, next time. time. My name is Sadie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>